God. Ben, I didn't realize you were, were here. I mean, I knew you were here, but I didn't know you were up. Well, you know, I'm a little mad because it's so late, and where were you? You know where I was. I was out with, with Alice tonight. You know that, Ben. I told you I was going Well, I know that. I just yeah. didn't think uh, what kind of woman would keep a man out till five past midnight. Well, it's a little late for a first date. This is not our first date. This is our third date, and we were having a good time. Uh, and I, you know, I was waiting up and um, was nervous, and mm -hmm. anything could have happened. You could have, I don't know, gone off and done something stupid, like eloped. Could have gone to Vegas and lost all our money. I don't know what you're going to do, but... Then we were sharing cherry cheesecake. No. Then don't make me ashamed of that. Well, did you go out, or did you... Yeah, we, we went out for dinner. We went for we went, we went to a bookstore. She reads, huh? Not only does she read, she's written three best-selling books. And she's a doctor. Is she a medical doctor, or is she one of those just fake doctors? No, she's an actual medical doctor. She's a she's a gastroenterologist. I'm a little confused how yeah. you are a gastroenterologist and you write bestsellers. Does she write about gastroenterology? Because no, that's not a popular she, topic. She's the author of Up Your Ass, <laughs> which has been on the top ten list for 20 years. <laughs> she wrote a book 15 years ago called I'll Show You Binding. <laughs> no, no. She wrote a book called Bound for Glory, and I think... <laughs> Any messages, Laura? Dr. Weber called oh. twice already. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Laura, can I ask you something that's really none of my business? And Oh, no. Well, let me, let me rephrase this question. <sighs> can I tell you something that's none of your business? I'd rather you didn't. Wait, no, actually, I think I do need to ask you something. Wait, let me see, can I, can I ask you something you know that's really... Can, just don't ask me if you can, just do it. Okay, here's the thing. Have you ever been in a situation where you've gone out with somebody a couple of times and all of a sudden you realize that there's no electricity there, this is someone who you prefer as a friend? Of course, Dr. Katz. Well, how do you deal with that situation? Because I think... Well, you just, you don't go out with them anymore. Or you, you tell yeah. them, you have to tell them. Because, see, this this woman I'm going out with, Dr. Weber, I think she really digs me, and I think... Did she say that she digs you? No, no, I no, no one used the word dig until now. I mean, are you sure that you're not reading the signs wrong? No, no, in fact, this is not such an unusual situation for me to be in. It just hasn't happened in maybe 20, 30 years. Oh. She's she's very charming, and she's good company. She, we have many things in common, you know. We oh. uh, we both love music. Hmm. But we, ha we share a passion for technology. Hmm. But there's something missing in the relationship. I think it's her chin. Huh. I've looked everywhere. Well, you know, she can't help that. I mean, if you really like her and you get along with her. I know it's petty. It seems so petty to find that a physical flaw in somebody who is even mildly interested in me. Yeah. You know, it's just you grow up with certain expectations in life. A chin. Oh, I just don't know what to do, Dr. Katz. Well, I don't. Every time I go up on stage and I do my act... My mother tells me that she doesn't like what I'm doing. And, and why is that? Well, I'm talking about Larry Hagman and the new liver. She doesn't like that. I dream of liver. That's not even funny. Well, it's not up to her. I, I mean, uh, that's... She's telling me I can't do it. No, you can't do that one. Don't be talking about me. Don't be talking about your father. Mm -hmm. God, why don't you talk about yourself? Yes, you do have a weight problem. Aunt Rose, she likes what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that Kevin, he's got the best jokes. He's so handsome on stage, too. He looks beautiful. Oh, I love him on that stage, sweating like a madman. Okay, let's talk about the young Kevin Meany. Let's talk about your childhood. My parents would always have company come over, you know? Mm -hmm. Mr. Richter's coming over. So I'd always hear that one. Right. Mr. Richter's coming over. And he just got back from Sweden, and he had a sex change operation. I don't want any of you kids to say anything about him being a woman. You've got something to say. You just tell him how pretty he looks. Peterkins were always coming over, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hated the Peterkins. They didn't have any kids, so they'd come over and look at us. My mother was always telling us, too, that Mrs. Peterkin was sick. She's sick. Are you happy? She's sick. What's wrong with her? She's got thyroid. So don't be mentioning the GD thyroid when she gets here. We didn't know what thyroid was. Next thing you know, Peterkin shows up and she's got these big eyes from outer space. Yeah. Sitting around the dinner table, she's looking at us, we're looking at her. Nobody's blinking. Right. Aunt Rose, she wouldn't make it any easier on us either. 
I hear old Bug-Eyed Peterkin's coming over tonight. Hey, kids, look what I got. Bug-Eyed Peterkin's eyes. Last night, they finally blew. Hey, Ben. Yeah, let me cut to the chase right Shoot. right now. Okay, good. that'll be good. Where's this thing going? I mean, what 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 do we see for the future here? I, 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 uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just talk for another trying... couple of minutes, and then I'll talk to someone no, else. No, I'm not talking about me, Dad. Oh, I'm talking about you and what, what's her name? Alice. Yeah, I don't mention her name in the house. No, Ben, well, this... Uh... Well, I just don't want this to get out of hand, Dad. And... Without you discussing it first with your family, which is, is me and, and that uncle we have. Ben, I, I don't understand what it is that makes you uncomfortable about... I'm not mad about it. I'm just saying I, I you seem to be deliberately I'm... leaving me out. Like last night, you ended the conversation very abruptly. I, mean, I know it was late, but... Um... Well, because I didn't what know how to... thing good night all about? I didn't know how to respond to the line that women will eat you alive. Well, maybe I was being a little too... Well, I don't know, Ben, but but it seems to me that, that this thing is moving at its own... It has its own rhythm and its own pace. Oh, my God, you slept with her. No, no, in fact, we haven't consummated the... Uh, we haven't had any consummate yet. Well, <laughs> Dad, don't get me laughing when I'm very upset right now. Why is that? Why wouldn't you want your father to experience happiness? Well, Dad, you know, I was just a little concerned. You know, maybe you... I don't want to... To see you get hurt again. You mean romantically? That's yeah. You know, in every relationship, somebody somebody has the upper hand romantically, and I feel like in this one, it's me. You got you got hurt by mom, didn't you? Well, we both got hurt. That that was. Uh, well, I'm just... Sounds like he's getting serious. I mean, you well, you shared cheesecake and you know. Well, I, ben, I'm just taking this one day at a time. One, you know, seeing how this thing evolves. You know, it's only it's only been three dates. We had lunch. Right. We had dinner, and now you had dinner again. I think I'm putting on weight. Oh, my God, she's fattening me up for the kill. <laughs> Is that how they do it? You know how some people want to grow old together? Mm -hmm. She just wants to explode with me. <laughs> Laura. Oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> Clever. Let me tell you something, Laura. There is there's love in the air, and it stinks to high heaven. You know what I'm talking about, right? No. Well, my dad is practically getting married, and then he we'll... He is? Well, you know my dad's going out with a woman now, right? Yeah. Now, you, have you noticed lately that my dad has been, you know, very into this relationship? Like a little too much? No, not really. Yeah, it's happening. It's oh, happening. Ben, I mean, that, that would be a good thing, don't No, that's think? not a good thing, Laura. It's not good to get involved with a woman when you're over 40. I mean, there's a point when you got to stop. Well, I think you're overreacting. I, I, in my mind, I think he's, you know, getting ready to, to hook up to the old ball and chain. Well, you know, what, what makes her the ball and chain? Laura, let me explain something to you about the marriage tradition, all right? Okay. In the olden days, Laura, women would stay at home. Yeah. Raise kids. They would milk the cows. They would take that milk, make butter with it. They would yeah. also make milk with it. They would make heavy cream. They would make ice cream. Then they would make the hot fudge. Okay, so your point? My point is is that women make dairy products. Well, how, how is your social life? Things are not good. My social life is not very good. Um, how should I put it? Well, let's say Anne Frank got out more than I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I always have this fantasy when you get together with someone, you yeah. know, you... You have a relationship. You say these really cute, sweet things to each other. Right. Every time I'm in a relationship, I always wind up saying things like, what are you picking? So, Carol, do you find that when you're in a relationship, you tend to sabotage yourself? I don't know. I have, um, I have very high standards, you know? A lot of women like the strong, silent type. Not me. What do you like? I like them weak and chatty. Well, you, you were married not so long ago. Can we talk about that? Well, I was married. I, I was married for four years. Mm -hmm. You know, at least I got divorced. You know what cracks me up are these people that have their marriages annulled? That's supposed to mean the marriage never existed? <sighs> Boy, talk about denial. What do you say to people when they see your wedding album? Oh, that was just some play I was in. Check me out, Todd. You got two copies of the same movie there, Ben. Right, Kramer versus Kramer, I got two, because I'm going to watch it twice. Dude, it's a mistake, right? You don't want both of these, right? No, I said I'm going to watch them twice, so that's why I got two. 
What's the problem? Why are you getting such sad movies? Two sad movies. I think sometimes people are in the mood to watch a film about family falling apart. Don't make me do this dance with you. What specifically is bothering you? Well, you know, my dad, uh, you don't want to hear it. I sure do. Well, it's just depressing, and I I assume you don't want to hear it. No, I want to hear it more than ever. Well, you know, my dad's been on, like, now he's seeing someone. Uh Uh-huh. Well, you know that my mom left uh, my family a long time ago. Yeah, right, whatever. Yeah, thanks for the support. And then uh, recently, over the last couple of weeks, my dad's been, you know, seeing this woman pretty seriously, and I, uh-huh. I'm i starting to get the uh, signals that, you know, it's going to it's gonna end in something awful like marriage. You think they're getting married? Well, I mean, they've oh been... Oh, my God, that's great. No, that's, that's not great. You know, if, if he marries another woman, then she's, you know, like it's a whole new family. Got to get to know her. Nah, you don't have to get to know her. I have to do the obligatory, like, one year of hating her. I think you got to think of your dad's point of view, you know? He's no, you know, I think he's, he's getting a little older. He probably, you know, he wants to rush things a little bit. And so. Yeah, that's my point. I'm saying that he's making a mistake. Don't you want him to be happy, though? Don't you want your father to be happy? No, I like him like he is. What about you? What about... What about? I mean, you, you must know what I'm talking about. You're obviously from a broken home. I'm not, actually. My parents have been married 25 years, happily married 25 years. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see your parents a lot? Yeah. Like, how often? It's all um, four years ago. Well, I would assume that if you loved your family that much, you'd see them more than every four years. It's because I love them that I only see them every four years. Well, it sounds like there's a problem there. Hey, I'm not the one renting Kramer versus Kramer twice. Yeah, well, you know, I need help now, not hurt, Todd, so... Put one copy of this back, then. <coughs> oh, God, I'm sorry I sneezed on you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Will we wipe up because I, pe- I had just eaten peanuts. You gotta learn how to eat your food, man. Oh, my God, Todd, I'm sorry. I've never done that to another man. So, anyway, what was I saying? And the Maybe no- I would just better go. Mr. Meany. Hello, Laura. Back again for a checkup. Great. Well, it's nice to see you. Is it really? Hmm. Well, you should say that it is good to see me. You know, when you come into this office for two, three, four, five years, I don't know how long I've been coming here. Nine years. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Could you take a seat, please? No, I'll stand. Thank you. And I'll pace. I'll stand and pace, pace and stand, stand and pace, pace and stand till Dr. Katz calls my name. Kevin? Ah! How is married life, Kevin? It's good. Marriage is good. Mm -hmm. Marianne really makes me feel good. So your wife is in what trimester? I don't know. She doesn't tell me anything. Well, how did you find out she was pregnant? You know, it's just a... Instinct, I guess. You know, I come home and cook dinner for her, and next thing you know, she comes in and she's eating everything in the house. That's why I think she, you know, might be with child. Did you ask her? No. Well, uh, it strikes me as odd, Kevin, that you just wouldn't ask her outright if she is pregnant. Maybe I should call her on the phone and ask. But why didn't she tell me if she was? Isn't that her responsibility? Well, maybe to she, tell me. Maybe she's afraid that you would have a uh, that you would react badly. Why would I react badly? That's that's what I mean. I I'd be excited. Here's what I'd like you to do. Before, yes. Before next week, talk to her about her pregnancy. Mm-hmm. Just ask her outright. Say what? Is it Anna? No, it's Marianne. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't say Anna then. Say Marianne. Are you in fact pregnant? Marianne, are you in fact pregnant? No, but use your own words. Right. Marianne, are you in fact pregnant? And and, and try to try to let her know that, that this is not that this is good news for you. Yes. Okay, I'll be I'll be um is it Anna? Marianne. I'll I'll, I'll be I'll be Marianne. You and you you asked me the question. Uh, Marianne. Uh, am I supposed to be Marianne? No, no. That... Marianne, I'm Marianne. No, no, I'm I'm Marianne. I am Marianne. No, I'm I am I Stop it. Stop. You're snoring. Stop it. Now I'm Marianne. Okay. Ask me now. Um, Marianne. Yes. That's great, honey. Dr. Katz's office. Oh, Laura, what a day. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I was making up the list for the wedding, and of course you're on it. Plus one. 
Of course, uh, when he gets married, I just want to make sure that uh, everything is set and there's no one else to plan it. I mean, the only other person who enjoyed planning weddings was my mom, and obviously she wouldn't want to plan it. Hmm. Anyway, I just, you know, I just, you know, I was hoping to get married before my father got married. I guess I'm old-fashioned that way, but... So what do you think? Are you ever going to get married? I mean, you're getting uh, to the point where maybe... I don't know, maybe if the right guy comes along. <laughs> Laura, you got to get out of your dream world and stop believing in this fantasy that some white knight is going to ride up on his white horse and tap you with his white hand with a white glove on it and then take you to white Whiteville. <laughs> I mean, you're not getting any younger, Laura, and uh, it's getting to the point All where right. you better take what you can get. So will you marry me? No. Double wedding. Me, you, my dad, the doctor. This makes sense. Laura? So what did I miss? Well, where were you? I had to bring some glasses up. You missed all the lower intestine talk. Oh, I'm really glad about that. <laughs> no, I was telling Stanley that I've gone out with this woman three times now, and oh. it's we've sort of reached an impasse. A blockage, as it were? <laughs> no. No. No, an impasse. Uh -huh. what, about Emotion what? Emotional impasse? Emotional well, impasse. Emotion. But she, you know, she writes extensively about... about um, uh, she's a gastroenterologist. There's no, there's no pretty way to say that. You know, I'm not even really sure what kind of doctor that is. Uh, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Ew. Is that what she does? No. no she, she deals with any kind of digestive issue. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You, you know, we've had a really, she's very charming and attractive yeah. and... Well, sounds good. Well, here's the thing is that I'm not sure that, that it's a relationship that I'm excited about pursuing. Huh. Well, it's awkward for a man to be... She's coming on very strong to me. She you know? is. Yeah, like what? Like how? Like, like, well, like... I, I think she is. I have to say, I'm not 100% sure that I'm the expert on, on how to read these signals. You know, I, I, I think she was putting the moves on me last night. You know, which so? moves? We had a couple of drinks. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was feeling particularly vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She asked me to come back up to her place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she said, she said, these are the words that, that I was dreading. She said, let me put on something slinky. And? She put on a slinky. And, um, you know, 45 minutes later, I'm sitting in there waiting for her to come back. <laughs> no, no, she came back. This is, this is where yeah. I think it went wrong. She said to me, I want you. Mm -hmm. wow. And I said, finish your thought. <laughs> Dr. Katz. This box came for you. It's from Dr. Weber. Wow, that's... Oh, look, it's, a, it's her latest book. Dear Jonathan, thank you for a lovely evening. I hope you enjoy this read. Uh, some people think it's bathroom reading. Fondly, Alice Weber. Hey, this is really sweet. You know, I think this is... Um, She's very attractive. You know, being, a, being an attractive person is much more than, than what you look like. Right. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you call uh, Dr. Weber and tell her that, that tonight's not going to work out for me? That we'll do it again real soon? You want me to call her? Would you? Because uh, otherwise she'll talk me into it. And I, I really don't want to, um... I don't think I could sit through another meal with this one. Dr. Katz, are you asking me to break up with her for you? Would you? Yeah. I, th I just think movies today, it's just, just too violent and scary. I mean... I took an eight-year-old to see Godzilla, and he cried through the whole thing. Although it could have been because he didn't know who I was. Do you still want to have kids, Carol? I would like to have a baby, but I am afraid of the pain of childbirth. Mm -hmm. And other women who've been through labor, they're like a bizarre cult. They can never really tell you what the pain is like. Yeah. You know, I'll ask them, so is it like really, 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 really bad cramps? And they just go, <laughs> oh no, grasshopper. I feel good about myself. I've been working out. You know, that's good. Mm -hmm. I lost uh, 40 pounds. You look you look great. I gained it all back, but I did lose the 40 pounds. Well, you know, the, 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 you go through these cycles, Kevin. I'm not miserable. I'm just, just a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's good to let it out. Sometimes. <laughs> 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 Whoops. You know what the music means, Kevin. Oh, God. Our time is up. <laughs> oh, 
Well, Dad, I'm uh, you know I'm shocked to hear that that, that didn't work out with you. Yeah. Well, you know what, what happened? How did it? You know, there is something very exciting about about a new relationship with someone. Hmm. The the prospect of being intimate with somebody for the first time is exciting. Well, that's yeah, that's. But you know, it played itself out very quickly, and it wasn't surprised. A... I'm wondering, do you, who do you blame for the for the? Uh... I could have blamed this one on you. <laughs> No, no. I, I certainly didn't provide you uh, the support. No, I don't. You know, I I wasn't, maybe I overreacted. Well, I, I think that you were afraid that maybe I was going to remarry, which is something that I don't even consider. Do you think someday you'll get married, Ben? Hmm. Because I actually think you are the marrying type. I think that you'd make a great husband, a great dad. Yeah, I, I just don't think I I would be well suited. I mean, think about it—the same person, day in, day out, sitting across the table from you. Every stupid thing he says, every boring story he tells. How come you keep saying he, he, he? You're talking about me. Oh, my God, I'm sick of the way you talk. And the way you eat. Like, you eat out of the corner of your mouth. Well, and here's another thing that bothers me. You know, Why do you throw away the cream when it's half done? Because if you don't throw it away, it'll, turn, it'll go sour. It doesn't get bad after one day. We should get counseling, Ben. This is so petty. It's typical of you to say that. We should get counseling. So smug. I'm not being smug. I'm trying to salvage what's what's left of this marriage. <laughs> Why don't you just go to work and I'll clean up? Okay, Ben. I'll I'll, I'll see you later then. What time are you gonna be home? I'll be home usual time. Well, don't be late. And I won't be late. Can I get a kiss on the cheek or what? Yes, you do. Come here. <laughs> Ow, that tickle. Why do you do that? <laughs> 